so this is just going to be a quickie little video, but remember how I told you that I bought a crap ton of Jamberry nail wraps, like the other day? I'm just going to do a quick haul of the ones that I got to show you guys how pretty these are. So, um, I got eight of them and my bill came to $90. They are pricey because these are like 15 bucks a piece, but after so and so many, I think like every fourth one is free or something. So there's a little bit of a discount that way, but anyway. Yeah, so the first pack that I got, I'll take them out of here so you can see one, what they look like um, out of the thing, so you can see what a full sheet looks like. And this is called Fame, and the design on it alternately made me think of both Ringo Starr and David Bowie, both for the stars and the Starman thing and Fame, like the song Fame. So I had to have those. You can see they're shiny little stars. This is not doing them justice, is it? But yeah, it's mostly just a, um, hard to tell if it's navy blue or black background. It's kind of matte with shiny little metallic silver stars on it. So I'll put that back in its package. <clears throat> so there's that one. And then I've got, I think this one, yeah, it's just black and white hound's tooth, but it's kind of an interesting hound's tooth because it's like almost 8-bit looking, like pixelated, like old school Nintendo graphics. Do you see that, guys? It's kind of interesting. Yeah. Well, I like it anyway. So this one was actually one that I think is more designed for little fingers, like little kid ones, but I have such tiny fingers and the fact that um, my nails are always so short this is practically the sizes we were cutting them down to when I put them on anyway. So this one is called Flower Patch. I personally would have called it Flower Power, but yeah, it's got these. Uh, some of them are striped contrast ones, and the rest of them are very retro-y, 1970s-ish looking color palette of flowers, which I love. They look just so 70s and even though I'm an 80s child, it basically looks like my childhood as far as I'm concerned, so I had to have those for the 70s-ness of it all. They, like, practically scream out Brady Bunch to me, so I was like, yes, I'm getting those. So I did. That is pack number three. And then I got a couple variations of this one. This one was called Once Upon a Time, which those of you who know me know exactly why the name got me, and I just had to, but, um, yeah, there we go. It's just, like, this chevron-y zigzag. It's got silver glitter in between the colored stripes, and it's got, like, coral and salmon and ivory and magenta and purple. It's just really pretty, and I liked it, and I loved the name, too, so I had to have it. This pack is called Mai Tai, and it's sort of a red, sparkly, glittery, garnety kind of looking one, which for how much I liked the silver ones that were called Diamond Dust that I had on as my accent nails last time, I figured I'd get a full pack of uh, some sparkly ones this time so I could do all sparkles because I just love how that looks. And yeah, apparently this is one of the ones that I think they're retiring. So now the more current one is a more vibrant red rather than the more muted, almost slightly pinkish red that's seen here. But I liked it anyway. I felt like they should have named it Ruby Slippers or something, but that's just me. Here's the other variation of that one that I got. This one is called Happily Ever After. But yeah, it's another chevron one. This one is more like plums and purples and sort of like an amethysty color in there. It just, it's really pretty. Same shape basically as the other ones, but yeah, it still has the glittery silver in between, so I of course love it. And I got another pack of the little ones, but these are also glittery, so I love them. Um, this pack, oh shit, did I break it? I did not. Okay, but this pack is called Shine Bright, which is kind of a cute name. 
Um, they are stuck in here, aren't they? Come on. Come on out. There we go. So, as my sister pointed out, um, these these on the ends look like they could totally pass for pride nails, and that was like the big draw for me buying them, not gonna lie, was that I could have pretty pride nails. But then that they have the accents as glittery stars, we're back to Ringo again, so I had to get it for the stars. Even if it weren't for the rainbow pride ones, I would have totally gotten it just for the rainbow stars, just because they're so fucking cute. So I got those. And it won't take me nearly as much trimming down, which makes me so happy, because I'm not good at trimming them down. I had her do mine last time, not gonna lie. Oh, crap, did I glue to it? Not really. Okay, cool. Yeah, these packages, I mean, on one hand, I like the design, but on another hand, they just, the adhesive on the back tends to stick to them if you miss by even a little bit trying to put them back in. With that. And then my last pack I got of them is just called Jaded, which makes me think of the Aerosmith song, and also of a character that I used to write for my stories named Jade, so I kind of felt obligated to have to buy this pack, but they're so pretty. Like, oh my goodness. I gotta take these out so I can really show off the glittery beautifulness. These may be my favorite, actually, out of all the ones I got, even though they're plain. Of course, they do not want to come out. Oh my gosh. Come on. There we go. Just look at them in all their majesty. I mean, this sort of tealy color almost makes me think of Ariel from My Little Mer- er, <laughs> My Little Mermaid. Wow! Wow, brain, really? I'm sorry, I'm tired today. Can you tell? From the Little Mermaid, not my Little Mermaid, oh my gosh. Okay, but yeah, it's sort of like the color of her tail, if you ask me, but just look at the sparkly shinies. I am like, I'm sorry, sparkly shiny things for me are practically hypnotic, and I could sit here and just play with it for hours on end just looking at it, which is the one drawback of when I have sparkly nails is that I typically don't get crap done because I just sit here and play with them in the light for... I wish I were exaggerating when I say hours at a time, but that is not even an exaggeration. I have been known to literally play with them for hours at a time and not get bored because it's just that much of a thing that'll transfix me. So anyway, yeah, like I said, I, I got eight of them. And for as insane as that may seem for what they cost, um, my sister spent like $800 on a... Um, on an order for herself, so yeah, that. Um, if you think I have a shopping problem, hers is way worse. But she's a Jamberry representative. She's supposed to be, you know, selling a lot of packs, and she wanted to make sure she met her yearly quota because she was like coming up upon the cutoff date for that, and she just went freaking nuts. So even if I run out of these, she has like plenty for everybody for the next. God, I don't know how many years, but anyway, yeah, so I wanted to show you guys those. Let me know in the comments, have you ever used Jamberry nail wraps? What was your experience with them? Did you have a good experience, bad experience? Which ones did you get? Did you love them? Did you hate them? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, bye!